All right, all right, and we back. Cuddy! Yo, I got one of the flyest niggas on the internet today inside this house, man. Yo, it's a lot of um, uh, personalities out here that's doing their thing, but this guy, right, this came out of nowhere on my radar on one of my favorite shows right now, and that's Fourth and One, and he hails from Charlotte, North Carolina. Y'all give it up for the one and only Omari Collins. AKA, go, let's go, let's go. Hey, Pat. What's good, Jack? Hey, Pat. Now, what's good, Jack? Hey, Pat. Now, how you about to act, Jack? I'm about to act <laughs> like a real nigga up in this motherfucker. Huh? And you know I ain't gonna be no sucker. Cause uh -uh. I'm here up in, in the day. Let her know she ain't got no tape. Let her know. This shit is real, then at the hope, this how she feel about huh. this shit. Who she thinks she fucking with? I told me I ain't the one. Ask her if she having fun. Ask her if she having fun. Huh? Ask her if she having fun. Yeah. Ask her if she having fun. What? Ask her if she having fun. Ask her if she having fun. Ask her if she having fun. What's this? up, pig? What's up, Jack? Now you don't got the energy right, bro. I'm ready now. We here. We here. We here now. We here. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Yeah. What's in one? Yes, What's sir. Happening? Man. Who came up with this concept? Man, so we've been pushing Cam for years mm -hmm. um, to like, bro, you got to talk about sports. He was like, well, I don't want to be in a box of just football. And so, you know, after time and time again, we did Funky Friday. That's and so he, we started that, like, man, in the backseat of a car in Boston. Bro, with GoPros and it's like on his way back and forth to practice. He was just like, man, I want to talk to people outside of sports. So we started fourth and one. It turned into a real show after we left Boston. And then um when, when he say talk to people outside of sports, what does that mean? So he don't want to just be confined as a football player. A sports figure. Yeah, a sports figure. And so he was like, bro, I want to just talk about life and 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 relationships and mm. you know, everything that comes with, you know, a whole life outside of just being Cam. So I talk about sports. But we was like, bro. People know you for being an MVP. People know you for, you know, Heisman, like, you know, college national champ. So it's like, it only makes sense. So I know David, David Ricks, he, he's a producer at, at um, Iconic Saga. And he pushed the element along with Brendan Cole and myself. And then we Cam bought into it. And two weeks before last football season, we was like, bro, let's do the goddamn show. And so we did it. We put it together. Um, and it was, it was... It, it was what it was. It started. It started making headway, um, and then I was just the person like me and Cam was super tight. Uh, I documented his life before I, I do what I do now, and since so since 2016, right? Since 2017. 17. Okay. 17, and so like we have natural conversation about sports, life, whatever. So it started off with just Cam, and I'm like, bro, like we let's change it up, and so they was like, all right, we just gonna give you the mic. You know, so you could just, you know, feed them certain stuff or like y'all just talk. Cause it's, it's real lonely when you just get up there and just have to do a whole show and nobody talk to. I was just having this conversation. You know what I'm saying? With Goldie and um, Thad. Yeah. And that, that's what it is right there, Thad. That's what it is, Goldie. Sometimes you just be like, man. Hey, damn, let, like. Let me get a couple more. What you think about this? Well, yeah. self, self. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think this. Yeah. So it's like, he's more than capable of doing it, but. They 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 let me on, you know, the mic, and then from then on, it was just energy. I, how did you feel about, you know, the concept of even coming on? Was you ready for that, or did you want that? Yeah, for sure. Like, I think I started back, I went to North Carolina Central University, okay. and I started with my own show. I started, it was called Eagle Access. It was my college show. Ego Access? Eagle. Eagle, Eagle, Access. Eagle Access. It was on YouTube, yeah. Uh-huh. And so that's when it first started, and then... I always wanted my time to, you know, get back on camera and just start doing certain things, uh, speak out in a whole nother realm. And I didn't even think about that when Fourth and One came about. They was just like, you know, just read some of the questions or, you know, react to certain things. Mm. And then our relationship is so good. We really play around and talk mm. shit all day. And he, y'all really friends. Friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we close. It's like, it's like a close relationship, but also a business relationship mm. at that. You know what I'm saying? And knowing the difference between the two. But mm. when we started doing it, it was just like, Second nature, and then it got to the point. It was like people in the comments was like, started saying, "Yo, Peggy, what? Who is Peggy?" Did that, and then he he. I remember he would call me. He was like, "Man, I'm going out somewhere." I remember he called me one night. He was coming back from the gym, 
And somebody was like, yo, what's up, Kim? And the first thing they asked, it was like, bro, who the hell is this Peggy behind the camera, bro? Mm. Who the hell is this? And then so after some time, they was just like, shit, let's just put them on camera and see how it go. Mm. And so ever since then, it's just, we just been rocking on fourth and one, yeah. So I'm glad you just brought that up. Where you, when do you get the name Peggy? Where, where, how did that come from? Um, uh, golly, so my name is Amari Collins, but with Cam, he don't call anybody around him like their name. Is it, it, it and why? I know, I don't know. He, he remembers names better with nicknames than, than the name your mama gave you. Yeah. So the name Peggy really came from my legs. So he's got a peg leg? No, he said my legs so skinny, they look like peg legs. And so we was hooping one time, and I had just got in the game, and I made a move, my knee buckled. So it's really, his first name, last name, Peggy Buckle. But for sure, it's Peggy and he Peg. He gave you so. a last name nickname. Bruh, a last name nickname. The nigga cold, bro. He messed up for that. Hey, dog, did Peggy. he think a different type of way. Bro, that nigga is different, yeah. yeah. So Peggy Buckle is the full name. Yeah. Don't check no records for that, but yeah, uh, okay. yeah Peg. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that, man. That's how the name came up. Did you did you end up having a uh, did you change your Instagram to that or nah, you, my, did, you, did you put it inside your 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 bio? My name? bio, it is. It's, it's gotcha. Peggy from Fourth and One is definitely yeah. in my bio. Okay. My Instagram name isn't that, and the only reason it's not that is like I just don't want to be con confined to mm. that. Like as we spoke off camera, you was Stop like calling me Peggy, nigga. Nah, nah, nah. Did you do cool. that at any no, point? No. Nah, when at first when he said he was like. Oh, nigga, your name Peggy. I said, oh, hell no. Nah, that's like, that's like a girl name. Yeah, exactly. You yeah, know what they, they're like, yeah. You People know. in the comments say, ain't that a girl name? I was like, all right, nigga. So anyway, I be like, you know, so the thing is, even with that, I'm like, my peg leg is my third leg. That's why they call me peg ah! leg. You know what I'm saying? But, my chick is like a peg leg. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm blessed by the best, baby. I'm blessed Got by you. the best. So now, you know, at first it threw me off, but then now that you have become a fixture on the show, Peggy then turned into Stacy, Tracy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Those type of, yeah. uh, uh, what you call them? Ashley. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a, 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 a androgynous name now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the word where it could be a boy and a girl? That is androgynous. Androgynous. I see. Yeah. Don't get me on there. I'm going to say you, unisex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uni Uni unisex. There you go. You, unisex. Yeah. A co ed. The co ed name. It's a co ed name. Put some respect. That's it's right. It's a co ed the Girls name. can use Peggy too. Okay. You see what I did right there? You here? right there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Who in the Peggy room? <laughs> okay. Got you. Golly. All okay. right. I got that now. Come no on, didn't. man. <laughs> now, dog, what's been, since you've been going on this ride, now you in, on Front Street, mm -hmm. everybody know your face. Yeah. Uh, um, how has life changed? Because I see y'all joking about it. Yeah. Y'all joking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, he be but joking, yeah. This so, one-on-one -on -one with, 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 with Amari right here. Yeah, so. Talk to me, man. Shit is, I mean, it's starting to, like, I can still go out. Like, it's nowhere like Cam, because Cam goes somewhere. It's all that Cam. Da, da, da. But granted, he's six seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hair, you know what I'm saying? All type of ways, style is a whole nother way. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, mine is so subtle, because people would be like, Bro, I love your show, bro, or appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Or like we was out eating, and then um, uh, so like a dude beside me was like, bro, I don't want to be weird. He didn't look. He was like, Are you on that show with Cam Newton? And I was like, Yeah, that's me. He was like, Oh, you Peggy? Okay, cool, cool. His wife done put him out. She's talking about, Boy, I'm glad he asked you because he been asking about this the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Me and my lady started laughing about it, and then so like it's it's been a situation like that, like. Other times, people are like, yo, Pig, you Pig, what's up? Yeah. I say, yo, what's good? So I learned to just love the name, bro. You know what I'm saying? At first, I hated it. I was like, bro, hell nah. But I learned to love it, bro. It is what it is. You and know? you on there with a real nigga, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. All the way good. All the way good, bro. Yeah, the, the, uh, when, when I used to work for 50, like, he had, he gave me a whole nother, like, uh, street credibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and when, I, when, I, when I watch you on, on 4 for 1, I was like, Man, Cam give, I don't know what he was doing before, but this nigga's a real nigga. Automatically, you know a nigga a real nigga because he with this nigga. <laughs> yeah, he a you know real nigga, saying? though. Yeah. But he's a solid-ass dude, though. I, I can say that. Like, a lot of people, you know, some people might work with, they might, man, they an asshole, they this and that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He human still, but mm -hmm. he a solid person. You know what I'm saying? When he bought them little boys on, the bottle, the water, water the boys. The water boys, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. Like, wow, Cam. Yeah, and, yeah. and even the story with behind them, like, you know, he had bought them shoes for uh school. Oh, really? Yeah, like, he seen them, and, that, and they, they told the story on the show. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, Canoon, Canoon. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they was trying to he, hustle water, 
And so then he was like, you know what? Look, I ain't going to, you know what? Y'all about to kill yourself over here. He was by the mall. He was like, y'all just meet me. It's three of them now. Mm -hmm. He was like, y'all just meet me in the mall, at the front of the mall. I'm going to take, I'll just get y'all some school shoes. He said, by the time he got there, it was up with a 20-something nigga just, Ken I knew I'm going to get a school shoes. He going to get a school shoes. So he ended up closing that store, bought all the kids that was there, they some shoes in there. Oh, he he rolled with it? Yeah, he rolled with it. Shit, he rolled with it. He was like, look, nobody else in the store. Close the store down. They got a limit, and everybody get a pair of shoes. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's all right. Yo, what's up? This your boy Jack Thriller. JackThriller.com. New Jack Thriller City. And you know what time it is. It's Jack Beauty of the Week. And guess what? We got the beautiful Christina hailing from Atlanta. The north side, that is. Come on now. That way. Yo, how you feeling, baby? I'm feeling great. Good, 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 man. So you from Atlanta? You a native? I'm a native. We are oh, rare, okay, but I'm cool, here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now you know um, they be trying to say, you know what I'm saying that that ain't Atlanta and everything. But that, how you feel about that? I mean, honestly, it be those that's not even from Atlanta, not even from Georgia, that want to state that. So I don't even get into that argument. Okay, you ain't. Well, if, for for, for those time. who know. Those who know. As yeah. far as you concerned, and they concerned, yes. it's A-time. It's A-time. I can dig it. I can dig it. What yeah. high school you went to? I went to Norcross High. I can dig it. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Thank so you, you graduated? Yes. You went to college? I'm still in college. You you better go, girl. I'm a senior, too, last year. You this your last saying? year? What yes. you going to school for? Um, Chemistry. I'm you about to be a rocket scientist? I'm be a scientist. I can mix it up. Get the out of here. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate That's what's it. That's up. <laughs> How's college life? It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. What, 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 what could you do without? Um, The people. The people. To be honest. You want to go to school by yourself? You, yeah. You, you want to go to home school uh, mm -hmm. college? Yes. Got Just you. me and the professor. Oh, That's oh. all I need. I don't need nobody else. Oh, I else. see what you're trying to do. You, <laughs> you gonna goddamn sleep your way to an A. Okay, no, hey, I ain't mad at you if I can. A plus. Hey, oh, oh, you you better talk about your coochie. <laughs> you better talk about your. She got A plus coochie. There it is. I can dig it. What you. what's your uh oh, your, your sign? I'm a cancer. Get out of here. Yes. So my okay. birthday coming up. You're going to have to remember that. One hundred percent. I got it inside of my calendar. Okay. Thank For those you. who don't know mm -hmm. and that need, you know what I'm saying, shout you out on your birthday. Give yes. them the date. It's July 19th. July 19th. Yes. That's the day perfection was born. I can dig so it. Sweet. I'm a sweet guy. So sweet. I'm a sweet guy. Um. Okay. Uh. What's your type? My type. I like men with ambition. Men with ambition. I will say that. What about w w when it comes to women? Um, so I don't really like girls. Really? I'm a tease. Yeah. Oh, oh you one of them. I'm one of them. Oh, you, I, you I take their money? No, not even like that. Oh, okay. Go it's ahead. more like I'll kiss on you, you know what I'm saying? You cute, I'll compliment you. Like, okay. Like little booty, little titties. Okay. But then we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going to stay nowhere. in the club or stay wherever you we are. Stay right there. Yeah. So you didn't have it, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much you off a couple of girls. Oh, at yeah. the Word. I, I'm a tease. What's your, what's your line when you trying to like get rid of them at the point where it's kind of like, okay, she on me, she going, <laughs> she taking it a little bit too far. Um, I just be hitting with the compliments like, oh, babe, you so cute. No, do 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 do, but do 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 do. You ain't got what I need, so I'm sorry. Oh my God! <laughs> now what if she say, what do you need? Oof, what would you a, say? Because you know. got the, come Everybody on, ever came back with it. Oh, like, they just okay. They just accepted they, like, oh. See, okay. that, that's only us guys that you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying to take it to the next level yeah. and whatnot. So what is exactly what? Because we trying to set our lie up. <laughs> like, nigga, I got you. Well, what? What? Because whatever you need, that's what we got. No face, y'all good salesmen, but mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I can dig it. I can dig it. <laughs> what are your turn offs? Turn offs. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't take care of your kids, mm. that's number one. I don't okay, like she that. dates guys with kids. I do. Okay, not multiple, not not too many, but three oh. at the most. Now you're pretty hospitable. Is that because you have kids? I have no kids. You don't have no kids. I have no kids. You are a keeper. <laughs> okay, now what's multiple kids to you? Yeah, no more than three. Three is the limit. The limit. Mm -mm. Yo, you cool as hell. <laughs> God damn. If you take care of them. Oh, yo, if you, you take care of them. You about to get some followers. <laughs> this is a lot of niggas with three kids out this mama. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to stop being some niggas with some three kids. <laughs> Nigga, you a whore. You are a whore. Three different baby mamas. All different. That and that's good. cool. I can dig it. Hey, uh, Michelle, throw me a question from Cuffing Season. Um... Do you feel like it's appropriate to have exes inside your new relationships? No, I don't feel like it's appropriate, but do I do it? Yes. And why? 
Um, because I end up making friends with my exes. I'm not really like a problematic person. So when I fall out with somebody, it's not that like big of a beef. So if I feel like you was in my life for a certain amount of time, I'm not about to waste that time that I spent with you. I can dig yeah. it. Not I- everybody though, but I do got a few. Oh, now with the roles being switched around, mm-hmm. are you cool with his exes still being in his life? Be honest. Mm-hmm. God can see you. Not really. No, I gotta understand. I gotta understand. It gotta make sense. So it's good for you. You want your cake and eat it too. You want them. Yeah. Do you go on niggas' phones too? You want them? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. That's your phone, ain't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, his shit is your shit. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. All right, so I see where this is going now. Are you a 50-50 girl when it comes to relationships? Um, I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> what changed? Um, you know, niggas take advantage. <laughs> now, just out of curiosity, mm-hmm. what's the um, example of a nigga taking advantage? Um, I try to do 50-50 with my boyfriend. Okay. We share an apartment. Okay. Um, he couldn't pay the rent. Or pay his half as much because he knew I had it regardless. <laughs> so it started turning to like, oh, you always got it. So why you why you need me? Yeah, nah. You got to go. Got you. Got gotcha. you. Okay. All right. So, you know, yeah. did he have kids? No, he didn't have kids. God damn. Facts. And he was popping. It's crazy. And he was popping? He was popping in the city. Yeah. I ain't going to put no names out. God <laughs> damn. Okay. You, you better go with your high value, man. <laughs> Your high value, low value, you mean? High, high value, low value. Yeah, yes. he got he, he high value, mm-hmm. but his values are low. Very low. I see what you did. I see what you did. <laughs> uh, Phoenix, throw me a uh, free question. What is one thing you're dying to do in the bedroom, but you're too embarrassed to ask Christina? What is one thing you're dying to do? That's hard because I'm very open. Like, I'm going to oh, ask. You did everything already. <laughs> okay. Not going to lie. Yeah, I don't really have nothing that, like. No bucket list. No fuck it list? Mm-mm. Other than the plane, I say that. You want to have sex on a plane? Yeah, like a private jet. Oh, on a private jet? Yeah. Not a public? Not no, because I want to be able, I don't want to have to be in the bathroom. Like, I want to be mm. in my seat or wherever I'm at in the aisle. You want to show out? I want to show out. Okay. Yeah. You deserve that, Christina. Thank you. I'm praying for that. I appreciate it. I hope so. 100%. God, God got a calling <laughs> on your life, and I know that is inside your uh, future real soon. 100%. Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay. J- July 19th, we're going to manifest that. Emphasis on the manifest, boyfriend and fest, all that. <laughs> Christina. Yes. Oh, tell them how they can reach you and give them the correct spelling. I got Spell you. her shit right. No, go in on them. They got to be right. They got to be right. So it's Christina Molina, K R X S T I N A M E L I N A. And you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. I like it. That is Jack Beauty of the Week, Christina. We over it. We out of here. Yeah, so he's a solid dude, you know what I'm saying? I give him a hard time, though. I'm going to pop my shit. I pop more shit off camera mm-hmm. than I even do on camera, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, man. And so, uh, the, the, your, your alma mater, mm-hmm. now, you, you, what did you, you went to school for digital uh, marketing? Bro, I actually went to school with the, Eng- I went to school for English. I got an English degree with a, with a concentration in literature. Bro, so, like, everything, like, I would be doing Shakespeare and, you know, uh, sentences, all this stuff, you know, reading in school. Right after I get out, I have a camera, and I was just, you know, I, with my mentor at the time, Chi, Chi Brown, he taught me how to do the camera. And at first, when I came on, I'm like, bro, I just want to learn. I just want to be a host, bro. I don't want to learn how to do all that camera editing shit. And he told me something. He was like, if anybody quit on you one day, your show will stop. Mm. So be in a predicament where you know how to do everything. And so even with working with Cam or working, I worked with the NFL, I worked with the Panthers, um, you know, done different things, like shot Super, Super Bowls, Pro Bowls, whatever. 
I always challenge myself to just try to learn, be well-rounded in whatever predicament I'm in because mm. you never know what's going to happen. But, yeah, back at Central, that was my major, English, yep. Wow. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. And it, 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 so the, the camera took you to a, a light. It actually gets you in the door. Bro, the camera, bro. The thing is, like, a camera can get you in the club. Yep. It can get yep. you on the sidelines mm -hmm. of some of the best events. Okay. Shit, it'll get uh, you, you go, bro, it'll you get you go. everywhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, the camera, oh, yeah. the camera like the golden ticket, you know, Charlie the Chocolate <laughs> yeah. Factory. I got a golden ticket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a golden chance to get that ass. They said it couldn't be done. <laughs> But it could be done. Yeah. So, you know, everybody want to be a model. Yeah, everybody want to model. Have you ever thought about modeling, ma'am? You know? <laughs> yeah, people be telling me I'll do that. You know what I'm saying? They be telling you, you okay? I just, they be telling me I should model. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, is, is your, your old lady, mm -hmm. is that how you... you no, 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 not the camera. That you was don't just, come from the camera, okay. Cam actually introduced us. We was out on no, on no bullshit. Hold on, time out. I know. That's crazy. Did you just say Cam Newton introduced you to your old lady? Bro, I introduced him to his, he introduced me to mine. Crazy thing, but yeah. <laughs> crazy shit. See, you, you know what's wild about that? Well, So, <laughs> one would think that to themselves, why did the girl that he with wouldn't be good for you, and why the girl you with wouldn't be good for him? Bro, bro, it just worked out. God is the best of planners. The way you and Cam met, yeah, I thought I thought this was really really funny. And um, was that pretty accurate? Did the whole gym scenario work out, man? Yeah, well, we met before that, so I was um, I was contracted to work for by the Carolina Panthers. So my one of my best friends, Austin. How you, hold on, before that's yeah. me right there. Yeah. How you even get that job? Well, my best friend, uh, Austin Duke, man. Shout out to Austin, man. That's my brother. Like, when we was like when we got into college, he started doing well in football. He went to UNC Charlotte. And he was like, bro, if I go to the league, at first it was like, I want you to be my agent. And that's what that's what I was on. Cause I wanted to go to law school, you know, be an agent. Um, and then I picked up the camera and I'm like, bro, let me just document this process. Fuck it. You make it, we all make it. And that's where that's the essence of where I'm rooted from. That's where I'm like my family, you know what I'm saying? Like one make it, we all make it, we gonna live, uplift each other. So the night before his pro day, I started documenting his part, his his uh, his process, and he ended up getting picked up by the Panthers in, uh, as an undrafted free agent. And they seen the work I was doing with him and they DM me on Instagram. And so and they, the, the, the contract was right, we talked about it, we negotiated that, and they brought me out to training camp. And then from there, that's where I met Cam, you know what I'm saying? And so when I, the unspoken rule was Cam had just was starting his production company, but the unspoken rule was they was like, bro, don't even worry about shooting Cam. He ain't gonna come up to your camera like you knew. Like he don't really come to our cameras. He got his own shit going on. So I like shit. Fuck nigga it. Nigga did me like that too. You know, well, this is what they told me. I ain't even met Cam yet though. Okay. So they told me that, and I'm like, well, fuck it, shit. It's, it's 50 other, 52 other people out here. You no, know what I'm saying? Right, so right. it's 53 people. You know what I'm saying? Team. On a team, That's but it's 52 team. other people yeah. that that ain't him. So. Mm -hmm. I'm over there shooting, and then my very first day, he like, hey, camera, come here. And he, Cam, Cam, when he in practice, he got to have his playlist in his practice and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So he was like, yo, come here. And so come, I started camera. shooting camera because he ain't know nobody's name. Yeah. Everybody got nicknames. <laughs> got to him. First, Your first nickname first name was camera. camera. <laughs> right? And so. Camera nigga. Camera nigga, come here. So. <laughs> He, I was recording him, and then he started talking to the camera. And then the person I was with, Amy, she was over, uh, she was over the digital department, and she was just like, "Oh my God, we gotta get this up." He spoke to your camera. I'm like, "Shit!" But then when you start thinking about it, it ain't too many people that look like us that's creating. They you know what I'm like saying? Us. They not like. And then so also too, it's like you gotta be able to resonate with somebody. Mm -hmm. And then the biggest thing too being behind the camera and editing and stuff, like you really have the ultimate power mm. because you or I can say something, but the editor can make it look like something else, right? And so I think that was the biggest thing with me and Cam. It was, it was a trust that began to happen. But even from there, like, you know, he, we shot that and then that, he went on about practice. And then I remember I would sit in like the lobby area with the players. So they would come by my computer and be like, bro, you got something to me at practice today? You got something? So Cam would never stop, you know what I'm saying? until one day they was playing cards and him and his teammate. And so it was a good play that happened with him and Thomas Davis 
Christian McCaffrey has shook Thomas Davis in practice. Wow. And so TD and Cam, they bro, they like bump here. They always, they always rivals. You know what I'm mm. saying? It's it's love, mm. but they always compete against each other, right? And so he was like, you know what? TD talking, TD beat him in cars and some shit. And he was like, you talking that shit? I'm about to release this footage. Mm. So he was like, hey, bro, send me that footage from TD today. So you got Cam, big ass nigga, TD, big ass nigga, me, Smitty, ass nigga, in the middle, and they like. He came like, give me that footage. TD like, bro, you better not give him that footage. I'm like, nigga, hey. Somebody gonna kill me. You know what I'm saying? So shit. So long story short, I gave Cam the footage. He a bigger nigga, so shit. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You know, be smart, nigga. Be smart. We seen yeah. what he do to them little yeah, niggas. Yeah, okay. Seven so, little niggas. Yeah. yeah, so he had he I gave him the footage, but from then on, the conversation struck up and I was like, he was like, uh, Amy said, Well, Cam got a production company. And Cam was like, Well shit, bro, email me. And we can talk from there. And so I emailed him. He emailed me in his font that he 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 type in. That shit is not a no cap. He really does it. It's called Post My Way. Yeah, what is that? Bro, so Cam got a, his own app. It's an app. Yeah, you yeah. You can go on this app store. It's called Post My Way. Uh -huh. And so he emailed like that, text like that. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So he always say. We have we to don't, learn a different language. Yeah, exactly. He said, well, his slogan is, we don't write the same, so why should we type the same? So... You know what I'm saying? That's his bar, his slogan for it. He always made me feel bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, so, but from then, we had our meeting, and then it was, we was locked in since then, bro. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, but that's been since 2017. So, get me to the gym, man. That, 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 oh, the gym. Oh, shit. Get me so, to the from gym. there, damn, I gotta go back to the gym. So, first day, I'm shooting with him, and he was like, all right, Cam would wake up early morning, like 5, 5 a.m., and do, like, this treadmill workout. He'll yeah. post it. I'm like, shit, I can goddamn do that. I be up working. You know what I'm saying? I do my push up. <laughs> so shit, I'm like, man, I'm gonna meet you in. I was like, let me let me get on your workout. All right, bro. All right. Cause this nigga always like he too cool for school. All right, bro. Meet me at the gym tomorrow morning at five. I'll be there. So my first day, I'll bring my camera too, cause I'm like, shit, I can document this. Yeah. He let me in. Cam is not a morning person. Not then. He's growing into one now. Um, and so then I'm like, I'm like, yo, bro, so what we do? Da -da 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 -da. This nigga got his hood on, head down. Like, I, he walking, but he dragging his feet like somebody's grandma. Mm. You know how grandma would slide yeah. through the house? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, bro, he barely up. So then he like, bro, I ain't about to do all that talking right now. Bro. Yeah. It's too yeah. early for it. So then I'm like, this dude's a fucking jerk, bro. Yeah. Who's, who's this guy? You know what I'm mean? saying? I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready, dog. So then. But you learn to like love it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was yeah. just him at that time. Yeah. And then we get on the treadmill. He he was just, I'm like, well, what do I need to do? He said, just look at me and just do what I do. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Bro, thanks, great instructor. So he go up on the treadmill like five, like it's uh, incline. So he would go up incline. I'm looking over. He pressing his button, just walking headphones on, not even looking to see if I got it right. Mm. Then if I mess it up, he just press it on my thing and just keep walking. I'm like, bruh. So we started doing that. I stayed with him in the gym. About three uh, times. Yeah, well, he said three. It was more than three. I was he capped me. I was like, I know you're going to say some different things. He done capped me down. Yeah. Bro. So now it was Captain more than Crunch. Yeah, yeah. Cool, okay. Colin Capper. You, you know what I'm saying? Family size Captain Crunch. Woo! So, you know, so, but now I stayed in the gym with him a few times. Now he would do it religiously every day, and I, I, I couldn't do it like that. But I, I did it more than three now. Mm. More than three, maybe mm. five, you know what I'm saying? But now that's that's how the that's how the gym workout work, and so that really just propelled the relationship. But I seen how hard he worked, and even down to years later after we would shoot and I would shoot his workout videos and stuff. It's like my mentality is if he working out, he's not gonna outwork me with shooting him. So whether it's the angles, whether by the time we both leave the gym, we both sweat. You know what I'm saying? Because shit, I'm goddamn down here. I'm up here. I'm getting tight. I'm getting wide. Whatever. You know, pause on that. But yeah, like. You know, like I'm getting all the all the angles of the shots and shit. Like that's just been the mentality from day one. Sure enough. Yeah. Dude, dog, you got an Emmy. Yeah, yeah. You got a goddamn. Yo, come on, come yeah. on, man. Yeah. 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 Come on, I'm already got an Emmy, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yo, appreciate, where the appreciate, fuck appreciate. you got an Emmy from, man? Man, so I why had, they give you that? So we I end up working back. I I was head of um, digital video mm. uh, with. I was senior manager of digital video for the Carolina Panthers like a year ago. Um, and so. Good reason. Yeah. Wow. 
So this is when like I shit, I just got the motherfucker a is few that months the ago. With the, uh, the, the hole in the ball. Holding holding the, 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 globe. the globe. Yeah, 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 yeah. There oh. you go. So it um actually with Lou Young, man. Shout out to Lou Young. What? Uh, yeah, with Lou. Lou was the actor on that piece. Yeah. So we did a jersey reveal for Carolina. That Lou, Lou uh, MA, MA winning too? Well, not where they did it for, you know, they break it up. So they might have a producer, lighting, uh actor. So uh. just in a producer round, we got it in lighting. And then um, that was it, like producing, directing. It was something else, too, sure that one one. So just in those three areas. But, man, putting together that piece with Lou, man, like, um, was, was dope. Lou came in, and, like, you know, at first they was like, well, Lou, he's more funny. And I'm like, bro, trust me, like, he going to be able to knock it out the park. And so I hit Lou up. We worked out the particulars, you know what I'm saying? He came down, and we made it do what it did. And so, like, it was a beautiful piece. Um, it was the all black jersey reveal for the Carolina Panthers. And so from then on, like I worked with a great team at Carolina. They still there doing their thing. It's a bomb ass team they got at Carolina from mm. everybody. I ain't even gonna start naming names, but their whole team is super dope. Mm. Um and I was just blessed to be a part of it and kinda head that process up. And then um Lou did a hell of a job, bro, with that. And so phenomenal talent. Man. Yes, phenomenal, bro. Like mm. super dope working with Lou. And so mm. You know, I found out late because I ended up leaving the team afterwards, after the season. I'm like, man, this working for a team full time. This shit ain't for me, man. Let me go back and just goddamn be in more creative space. And so um, when I left, I didn't even know we won an Emmy until they hit me and was like, yo, we won an Emmy from this piece. I'm like, oh, shit, they won an Emmy. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I didn't go to the presentation or anything like that, but they they mailed it to me and it was all good. The word. Yeah, bro. The word, okay. That, what, what are you doing in Atlanta? How you get here? So, whew, man, bro, I got a story from that. So my, my story with the A, right after school, I was going to go get my master's at Temple University. D d d okay. Mm -hmm. Bill Cosby done went. You know what I'm saying? Ho, 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 ho. This was before the shit. Yep, Cosby this went to Temple. This was before the shit, yeah. <laughs> He I, did. He did. Okay, watch your drink. So anyway, <laughs> so it was just like, uh, yeah, I was going to Temple. Then I came, I came here. I was so I'm an alpha. So I went. To, I came to AGP. You were alpha. Uh huh. Is that and, fraternity? Fraternity. Yep. 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 Okay. Yeah, alpha Phi Alpha. So I is Atlanta Greek Picnic was here that summer, and I came with my brother. But it was a. It was a. Is that uh, like a new freak Nick? It kind of, it seemed like it was a spinoff just for Greeks, but you don't have to be Greek to go there. So it's like mm -hmm. anybody go there, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So Just like Freaknik. Freaknik, it is, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up coming down for that, and then my, um, it was a, it was a film I got invited on. It was a, uh, uh, like a low, you know, lower quality, like a lower film or whatever, short film. It was, that was before Tubi, you okay. know what I'm saying? It, it was our movie shit, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you be, nigga. You do it yourself. Yeah, exactly. So it was a short film, and I, I jumped on the set, and I was just I was a production assistant, and then um I, I started doing that. I'm like, I worked on that set. I drove, I went back home. I came down here for something else. I'm like, man, fuck it. I ain't going to school. So I moved here. I ended up getting a job as somebody's assistant, and I actually was working for a lady at the time and her and her husband had like a production company and their basement mm. was, uh, they turned into an apartment. So I was out in Fayetteville, Georgia. I was working for the lady as her assistant, living in her basement because she we, she made it like an apartment style. But then it was just so, it was just like, I just was here off of a dream. Like, man, when I came here, man, I had my clothes being, I had me a little small, little small TV on top of my clothes being. It was a clothes being and a dresser. You know what I'm saying? The two for one. And I was sleeping on a blow-up mattress. You know what I'm saying? In there. And I wake up in, in the middle of the night, my shit on the floor. Like, my, my blow-up mattress had oh, a hole in it. It didn't even, it didn't even yeah. do that on little niggas? Bro, on little niggas. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah, so I wake up on I the floor. I thought I was fat Yeah. Like, <laughs> so shit. So that was the way I first started. And then after that, I was just like, bro, I don't want to live like this no more. And so I just said, fuck it. And so I quit. And I created my own company, my own media company at the time. And then uh, in the office, in, in that, in that uh, apartment, I had a whiteboard. I wrote how much money I was making with her. And then I just started calculating how much money I made just betting on myself. Mm. And so I just started doing odd jobs and I started doing production. Shout out to my school. They was the ones that actually first helped me start signing contracts, doing stuff for Central uh, with my production company. And then I just started like meeting people and just started expanding. And then from then on... Like, my life just started changing, you know what I'm saying? And then I, I was doing stuff 
with BT and I was doing stuff like Soul Train Awards and stuff like that. And shout out to Roland, Kristen Myers for that. And then um, I eventually started working with Cam and then I ended up working with the Panthers. Well, I was working with the Panthers and then working with Cam and then ended up working with the NFL too. And so, man, I've been afforded a lot with this one camera because I remember when I first started. The same camera. The, nah, you had to upgrade the camera, but the fact of the dream in the camera, it's like, you sound like Goaty now. Yeah, you know, for real? Yeah, that's how he is. Yeah. About his camera. Is. Yeah, like with the dream and the camera, it's like, bro, damn, like I was able to go around the world. You know what I'm saying? I had a list that when I left home, I wrote down like everything I wanted to do and I folded it up and I put it in this drawer. And then I had ended up coming back home after my dad had died. Oh, and I man. went back in that drawer and everything on that list I said I wanted to do before I left home, mm. I done it. And so it was just like real. I opened it because my family, I was, I'm, I'm the, it's me and my brother, but I'm the baby. So, like, me leaving home, everybody was like, what the hell are you about to do? And I'm like, what are you about to do? Like, you know, it's more doubt, it's scared. And I'm like, man, fuck it. Like, I gotta fall. I gotta jump out here. And if I jump, like, I'm gonna either fly or I'm gonna fall. And right, I flew. Skate yeah. Fly. So, you know, and, and I, I did it and I'm still doing it. And um, just from that, I just take moments, I look back. Like I remember, I remember I had clothes on my house, and and I was it, I was walking out, I was rushing for work, and I was walking out, and I stopped and I paused, and I seen a camera sitting on my my dining table in my house, and the shit damn near made me want to break down, because I'm like, damn, from this one camera, create a lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And if I would have listened to all the naysayers, if I would have listened to everybody, I'd be like, man, just hang that shit up. If I would have listened to, you know, close people, close friends, family, like. Just take the job. Shit, they got benefits. Do this. Do you know? Work there till you retire. I wouldn't have never been where I am now. You know what I'm saying? And so, that's just to anybody. If you out there and you don't know what you want to do and you you know what you want to do but you scared to do it, bro. Like you gotta have a fucking mentality sometimes and just say fly. Fuck it, I'ma fly. Mm. And you make it up in your mind and you do it. And that's what I did. And you know, sometimes I gotta re remind myself too. Nigga, you can still fly. Use your wings. You know what I'm saying? So. Even with everything you done created, you still yourself, you still rooted, you still know you can go out and get it anywhere. You can put me anywhere, I'm gonna make it happen. That's just, that's me, that's my mentality. A word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Man, I'm so inspired by that, man. And uh, one of my favorite uh, things to ask, man, best advice you ever got, who did you get it from? Because I know you done got some good shit. Uh, and if it's um, a couple things, I man, get it to me. Man, I mean, shh. golly. Man, that man. You be around them niggas. Yeah, I be around different people. So advice, it just be so many conversations. Damn, it's like one piece of advice. I don't like, uh, and it probably be some of the most simplest shit. But yeah. like, I mean, like fuck it and let it fly. Like it's one. I don't know exactly who I came, who the, who that came. That really just came from came from me. Um, but mm -hmm. like so many people around me, you know, would see you see me or see. Stuff happening, I'm like, bro, just do it. Like, trust it. You know what I'm saying? So I can't really give you one slogan. Mm -hmm. Um Nigga got all the answers. Nah, hell, yeah, like I don't I don't even I don't I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Like I know when I do feel out of place sometimes, like I do hear like Cam got some shit of like is he says, you know, be uh be uni uniquely you. Mm. Be uniquely you. And so it's like even when you like uncomfortable about yourself, you like, man, fuck it, I'm me. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that stick. Um, you know, my dad, uh, he always would be, and this is something that, that I would always use. My dad, this is a slogan. He was like, I always act like you've been there before, and no no moment is too big for you. You know what I'm saying? And so that's one thing. No matter what's happening, like, just be, I like you've been there before, and it's not too big for you. And, and you know, be grateful in the moment, be there, but then be ready for more that's coming to you. So I think... <clears throat> out of anything, what my dad had told me, you know, uh, I like you've been there before. No moment is too big for you. And so he was always a person with him and my brother Salim. My dad would always just be like, yo, y'all made to be the guy. You made to be that, you know, and that comes in different ways. And I know a lot of people are like, but a guy, man, you got to be the top dog. Da, da, da. It's whatever you feel, you know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, it's your own determination. That dog got to come inside of you. Mm -hmm. That guy, you know what I'm saying? Some people might say that nigga got to be inside you. Mm -hmm. And so you might mask it with different things. You might, you know, be able to steal. And I don't mean don't cater to somebody else or you can't work for nobody else or you can't build somebody else's image or do nothing like that. Mm -hmm. But it's like you got to be no you got to know yourself and be rooted into 
who you are at the end of the day, regardless of who image you build. And nothing wrong with that. That's mm -hmm. that's fine. That's admirable. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's not made to have their own show. Everybody not gonna be a Jack Thriller. You know what I'm saying? But Jack Thriller got so many people behind this camera. You know what I'm saying? That's making this show happen. You know what I'm saying? And nobody's that. more important than the other person. That's you know right. what I'm saying? And so that's 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 something big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you now you said some really fly shit, man. But um, earlier, all the shit you've been saying was fly. Yeah, I appreciate just, it. Just put that out there. Uh, you well, you were talking about you went you went to school for uh, literature and you was doing Hamlet and Shakespeare and whatnot. What were you hoping to take that? Man, or, or, or was that or just that was just something you were interested in and you was using it as an elective? But this was the plan. Man, that was a got to, that was a class I had to take to graduate. You know oh, got saying? it. So got yeah. It. Shakespeare, Shakespearean sonnet. Um, it was a class that we well, that we focused on Shakespeare, but we you know focused on a lot of different things. Mm. Um, but you know that stuff, bro. Don't don't, bro. That's been a while, bro. I don't, I don't know, I don't know too much of it too much now. Was it fun for you back then? I mean, yeah, like it, it's deeper, it's deeper uh, meanings to it. That's like, right. Even with like Hamlet, like you know, it was. It was a lot, a lot of the references was for, and a lot of people say it like Lion King was big based off of Hamlet, you know? And so, Get out of here. Yeah. So What's like, the correlation? So Hamlet <clears throat> is like uh, Simba, you know, Scar was the uncle in Hamlet, and I forgot the uncle's name. And then like, you know, the brother, the brother killed the father. The Mufasa. Like, Mufasa. Obviously Scar killed Mufasa, but the uncle in Hamlet killed his brother. And then it was next up for Hamlet to be king, but Hamlet ended up going away, and then he came back to take over the kingdom once he was ready and right. And mm. so the storyline is, you know, a lot of people say that that's that's they relate to each other. So mm. that's kind of wild. So when I it kind of helped me too of like, damn, what happened in, you know, Hamlet? Then then I'm like, I know what happened to Lion King. So shit, they had to, you know what I'm saying? So you just like certain stuff you got to relate to to make it make sense for you, you know? Mm. Yeah. One hundred percent. I always thought of uh, the, the Shaka Zulu, oh. the, the uh, Lion King. Is, uh, <laughs> but then I'm like, you know what? Don't, 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 don't white folks probably ain't seen them. <laughs> ain't seen that shit. Yeah, that's yeah. why I said Hamlet is more like they yeah. they speed. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so, man, dog, you done been to some fly places because you you around like I done, I done, it's, I done been around like all the rappers and you know mm -hmm. saying, some movie stars and stuff like that. Yeah. But dog, you in that sports world? Yeah. You know, like like what's some like pretty cool. What's some this like a place that you've been where you never thought you would go? Um, just dealing around the sports world. Some of you just look at it, looking around like, what am I doing? This is really happening right now. Whether it be the Super Bowl or some party. Yeah. That was. Yeah. I mean, the first. I ain't even gonna say the first surreal moment, but it was a surreal moment. Like my first Super Bowl. So I shot. It was uh, first. Super, hold on. You done been yeah. to a couple Super Bowls. I bro? shot three. I shot three Super Bowls. You were bro. there? Yeah, I was there, bro, on the sideline, actually shooting. On the sideline? Yeah, bro, like catching the plays, sending it. It's going up on social as as, as it goes. Um, but, like, I found myself, so when I first got on there, I was, I was shooting, and then I seen, it was in Miami. It was the Miami one when uh, I think Pat Mahomes won his first his first right. Super Bowl. Right. Um, and so I shot that one, and then I'm on the field. I'm like, damn. I'm at the Super Bowl. And it's like, you know, you know, Super Bowl Sunday, that's like a holiday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your mama, family, everybody, like, who where y'all watching the game at? You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, my like my family are real supportive family. So they watching the game, but they watching for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm my phone buzzing. Bro, we see you on TV, bro. Get the we see you at the at the at the ring to like the uh flip, the coin flip. So I'm right there shooting. They like, my brother on there. Pop the game. That's my brother, though. That's my brother. That's my brother. So, like, we all, we nigga all. Nigga paused you. Yeah. Nigga and posted up, posted up on yeah, the ground. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, he shot, he shot the photo. But that was a real surreal moment because the whole day was like, I look over <clears throat> and you see DJ Khaled. Then I look over. I'm seeing somebody walking behind me. It's Jay-Z. I'm starting to film Jay-Z. And then he throwing the ball on the field. Then it's Meek Mill. Then it's all these celebrities. And it's like, you know, uh, uh, Kevin heart Hart. Pumping? Yeah, but it's just like back to what my dad said. I like you've been there before. You know what I'm saying? And no moment too big for you. So then I'm there shooting the game, seeing it all. And then I'm in the locker room with the Chiefs afterwards. So down to shooting that whole experience, seeing how it is in the locker room after the game, after they win, I was able to hold the trophy. 
You know what I'm saying? So moments like that was super crazy. Like, I think another time was like- uh, You hold the trophy, bro. Yeah, I held the trophy. It's, it's mad light, though. So that's why when they be really that up, shit look heavy in my mind. Them niggas strong in the mouth. Yeah, it do look heavy, like, but that shit light. But that shit okay. is, 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 is dope. Okay. So, um, <laughs> that was one. I shot like the national championship when Joe Burrow when he started smoking a cigar. Show I was that. in the locker room doing that stuff. Show Something that. that's not sports related. I think um, Milan uh, Fashion Week was super dope. Milan, were mm. you in Milan, or it was a girl named Milan? No, nah, we was in. Show. Cam Cam had to end up going out to Fashion Week, and I documented that piece for him. In and, Milan, in Milan, Men's Fashion Week, and so we end up going. Hold on, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where's Milan? Is that just saying? It's in Italy. It's in Italy. Italy, yeah. I knew that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You knew that. You know I, that. Because you know I get around. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, like you know two, two pot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but go, go ahead. Right. You know what I'm saying. So shit, we was in Milan, and you just have so many people like staying at this one hotel. So, like I'm at breakfast. You know, Tracy Ellis Ross. She walking past, and like I got it on the elevator, and I'm seeing all these cameras, and I look on. I'm sharing the elevator with Kim Kardashian. No, yeah, you know what I'm saying swa like no. they're really shooting the show for real. You know what I'm saying? They was keeping up with the Kardashians <laughs> while you was there. In Milan, yes, bro. And so like, and then we did you say something to Kim in the elevator? And I just said, hey, everybody, like, hey, how y'all doing? You know? Oh, it was a bunch of people in the elevator. Yeah, it was, yeah, they. You know when that elevator is like. They filming her, so she walking. They got to jump on. I'm already You should have booted in there, man. Bro, like, ah, I'm inside that bitch. I'm inside that bitch. <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> so, so now. Nah, you see but, why her face doing that? That was because of me. <laughs> so, shit. But, like, that was dope. And then we we uh met Mr. Giuseppe. Um, so just hold on the shoe nigga. The shoe, like, bro, shout out to It's a nigga name. That's what you met the nigga name. Okay. Yes. So we actually was able to. How much know, ship is cost for them? Man, they a couple hundred. You know what I'm saying? But you can go to Neiman's. You can go to the Giuseppe store. You can go to. You can go to Candler on Road Free Market, or you can also go <laughs> the discount mall. College Point, yeah. College Park, <laughs> off of Old National. Yeah, Old that. You can't get a yeah. pair you, you for can, the low. Yeah, like you get five for a hundred. Yeah, them the yeah. them the Giuseppe's, not yeah. the Giuseppe's. Yeah. All right, but <laughs> shit, but yeah, man, with him, he's bro, Mr. Giuseppe and his team, super cool. He was able to do um, lunch and dinner with him, and he showed us our his facility, his factory, and wow. just. Having time to speak with him, it was just like, damn, bro, like I'm here, like, cause you know, back home, like back in the hood, it's like, man, nigga, I gotta get the Pradas, I gotta get the Gucci's, the Giuseppe's, mm. and it's like, bro, I'm sitting with the dude that, mm. you know, niggas be talking about. It's like, bro, but it was so cool. Like, one thing you realize <clears throat> with all the people you meet is they people at the end of the day. That's right. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And so you gonna get the best moments with the best people when it ain't no cameras around, right. when they just like. You talking about everyday life shit, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, you can't talk about, yeah, y'all bills and y'all money different, mm. you know what I'm saying? But, you know, current events, a life, or shit that's funny, or, or like, you know, topics, that's stuff that every person want to talk about, and every person probably has something to chime in about. And so those are just some of the things that I, you know, said, but like, outside of sports, even in fashion, even with, bro, you, we go so many different places, and it's like, damn, that's such and such. And a lot of times, I don't even realize the moment until it's gone. And I'm like, damn, we did just do X, Y, Z. Oh, man, that was crazy. We were with just, we were with just, you know, with this person, that person. And so, um, you know, that's one thing, like, even in this phase of my life, is like really being in the moment, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody has a window, right? And so, obviously, your life will be... You know, you pray for, you know, progress and, and, and things to change. Mm. <clears throat> but, you know, like, everybody got a time in their life mm. when they go, like, white hot. And that means, like, the hottest that you can be is like, bro, damn, I can't do no wrong. And mm. so the, the the message now is creating as many windows as possible or those, those times to really be at the top of your game. And so while you're doing it, it's like you living it, and then you look back, and it's like, I look through my camera roll sometime, and I'll be like, yo, this shit was wild. Mm. This was crazy, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, now I want to be in the moment and really experience it, because the best things is, and you might notice, after the night is done or that next morning, you look back, and you be like, bruh, you sit around with everybody that experienced it, and everybody had a piece of the story of what happened, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, 
damn, I ain't know that happened, Jack. And you like, bro, you was over there at the bathroom with Shawty, but right there, they start fighting. She done pulled a wig off and all that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's always, mm. it's always those type of stories and like being in the moment, you know what I'm saying? They experience those things is what I'm focused on now, man. Mm. 100%. For sure. Hey, bro, uh, I, I want to help help the guys out, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just so, what what's some shit that could be considered some groupy shit not to do when you around people of this caliber? Man, Can this, you put them on, bro? I'm going I'm to I'm show y'all. break it down? I'm going to break it down. So this right. right here is number one. The shit that motherfuckers be doing. <laughs> and you be like, yo, tell me how nigga light on. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I ain't doing And you be like, bro, like, we see you, nigga. We in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the phone shit is like, bro, that can make or break. And you see a lot of people camp that's like that. You know what I'm saying? One thing that I hate doing is, like, when people go out and if, you know, they know they don't normally order that, but you, you... You're a uh, plus one of a plus one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah. I you talked know? about this on the show. Yeah. Okay. It's like you're yeah. not even the, the guest or you're not even looking to pay the bill. Yeah. But you ain't never ate it, never tried it before. And all of a sudden, I I, I, I want the surf and turf. I got them. You the know, tomahawk. Them, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Mm, the biggie Shit, bone. If you don't get that goddamn cube steak, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. Salisbury steak, nigga. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then you know, when people go out and just don't have no coof or decorum as they say mm. and they just like try to order up mm. um you know what I'm saying like just don't even know the person mm. but let me get some money but let me get you know what I'm saying so that stuff You seen that? I have seen wild shit bro. I Holy have seen, cow. I have seen some wild shit. You've bro. seen a nigga ask for some money that didn't know the nigga that he They was don't even really know it or they start hinting to the fact of like damn bro I got to do da da da. da. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? That. It's yeah. like from guys, but mostly, you know, girls, too, as well. And it's just like, bro. Women, okay. Now, I was just about to ask you. Yeah, that's, it, that's why. Is it a difference when it's a woman doing it because you expect women to do it? No. Nah, oh, like, it, so it's all it's still unacceptable? Law is flawed, like, to okay. me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really. What's some wild shit you would see a woman do that's a, I don't. I don't? I just. Because this is, this is um, I mean, loaded. Yeah, like the phone shit is like don't like that's number one. Okay. I mean, all of it applies. So the phone stuff, the ordering up, just whether you a guy or a girl, guy yeah. or girl, like like ball like it's your budget. So if that's what you normally do, do it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Now if it's offered to you and say, hey, look, try this steak or try this, you know what I'm saying? Now order this too, order that. That's different. Okay. But if you going in and being like, I'm just gonna do this and that and that, hold on, come back. Like that's too much. And then also, too, it's like kind of check with girls is different because when you invite more girls, it's, it's kind of different. Guys, it's like, well, shit, I'm coming. Hey, me and my two, three other homeboys want to come. Whoa, hold on, hold on, bro. Like, we don't even move like that. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's something. But for women, it's really the stuff I name, like the cell phone, the, the thinking stuff is supposed to be mm. just because of who it is or where you at. You know what I'm saying? And like, Really, people like, and you could tell when somebody ain't been somewhere before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's not being like bougie or whatever, but it's like they stick out like a sore, sore thumb in some cases. You know what I'm saying? And like, just the way they might act or what they might do. And it's just like, bro, you're not even fitting the whole scheme, the aesthetic, the vibe of what's going on. Like, and not being aware. That's the biggest thing outside of the phone stuff is not being aware of your surroundings and like who around you. Mm -hmm. So if it's like, I'm with somebody you know, right? You're one of your home, home, closest homeboys. And I'm like, F that nigga Jack, man. Jack ain't this. Da, da, da. You not a, you don't know who's in your presence. You know what I'm saying? And that's the biggest thing is like, when you bring so many people around. You preaching today. Stuff start being messy. And it's like, bro, know who in your presence before yeah. you even like, assess the room before you, when you walk Read in the room. Read the fucking bro, room, stupid. Bro, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, that's the biggest thing. Like, I'm like, bro, y'all, some of y'all, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all can't, y'all can't pick up what we putting down. Mm. Right? You know what I'm saying? So reading the room is something real big. Mm. Yeah. Word, word, word. Uh, now, how do you make yourself useful in these situations if you quote unquote coming into, um, just getting in the circle? 
Man, it's just like <clears throat> so with any any circle, depending on who's and that changes depending on your circle who you with. It's like if you got somebody that, you know, they gonna take care of the bill of it or they gonna take care of the financial part. Oh wow. You okay. need to be a person okay. that preaching. You need to be the person that making sure everything else is taken care of. Mm -hmm. So if it's like if I know Jack got to do his show and the show is paying for everybody else's bills, I need to be the person to be useful. It's like, all right, well, shit, I need to help Jack study for the show. I need to make sure Jack, he got his T-shirt. I need to make sure Michael Jackson standing beside him is the light and right. Is he on time? What's your mental light, Jack? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we need to make sure this the best show because... The bigger you shine, the bigger we shine. You know what I'm saying? And everybody not like that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people is like, man, fuck that shit, man. I mean, I ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I ain't about to pick up Jack. That ain't my you, job. You yeah, that ain't my job. And it's yeah. like, it's everybody's job. Yeah. Because the same way when you was popping bottles or you was, you know, do, flying out and doing all this stuff, it wasn't their job to pick up the tab, but then shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like. That's a it's a business, bro. We got a it's an ecosystem of how things work. And that don't matter. <laughs> that don't matter how big, small something is. It's like, bro, if you see it, do it. And that's that's the unwritten law. That's the unwritten rule. You know what I'm saying? If you see it, do it. If you know it needs to be done, make sure it get done. And it ain't nothing like, oh, you the do boy, or you this, you that. It's like, nah, bro, we all pushing the team because the same person that you see on the lights. They got stresses that I don't have, you know what I'm saying? And when you understand the stresses that you don't want and that they have, you like, shit, it ain't bad, too bad being in my life, shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got the money you got, but I ain't got the bills you got either, you know what I'm saying? So it's stuff like that that you got to know in picking up a bag or making sure the lighting is right, making sure you got coffee in your cup. That ain't really too much. That's the restitution you just pay for, for being around and moving it because you never know. And this is also another thing. You never know when it's your time. You know what I'm saying? Because what what happens when, fuck it, it's your turn to be in front. You need to know what you like, how it needs to be done. Like it's 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 customer service, even within friendships, relationships, business, all of that. It's still a less level of service. You know what I'm saying? And so servitude is like you got to be of service. That has to be a quality. You know? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now this was a subject that you had brought up uh, from a, a fan, and I this was a. a I've been talking to to everybody about this yeah. since I heard you say it, but it seemed like you had more of an objective opinion than Cam, and I think I, uh, I I didn't really get a chance to hear your whole take on it. Okay, you know, and that that was who had the biggest <laughs> uh, impact on the Falcons between Michael Vick and Deion. and Deion Sanders. Yeah, man, that shit that was so crazy, and I'm gonna give y'all mine, and you know, and I'm a different. You know, I'm from a different realm. And you don't play football. I don't play so football. So you have the, you, you see I'm biased. I seen it. Yeah. Um, And I would say, and even in the barbershop, so like my, my barber, you know, they're a little older than me. Mm. Man, I seen y'all talking that shit about Dion and, 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 yeah. and goddamn Vic. Yeah. Man, that nigga Vic ain't had shit on Dion. Nigga. You want to get to say it again? Dion, that Dion, 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 yeah, Dion, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that old nigga. Like Jerry Carroll. Goddamn, go change Dion. Dion had to sit locked down, nigga. Bruh, locked down. it was. And I'm like, bro. Dude, it was. Dave, bro, I just want to give a haircut. Yeah. Y'all I mean, niggas been out there goddamn talking about Dion, bro. Shit, Dion was locked down. But I wasn't here when Dion was there. Yeah. But I do know, I would say, and I love, like, Vic, bro. Vic, was, I, it's, it's tough. Only reason why I would say Dion and why he it had to be so crazy. It's a lot of because, different things. Check them boxes. Check because them boxes. first of all, a quarterback naturally is gonna get to shine in football. You could be subpar and get they gonna they they're gonna push you. There's just a propaganda. They're gonna they gonna give you the more, more market yeah, material man. than anybody else. Yeah. But the fact that he a corner. He was a corner. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And it's just like, how many other corners that you know? They, people might know them, but they just like, no, they the face. Like, you know what I'm saying? And so the fact of that and the fact that Dion, like, bro, he had the, he had the rap videos. It must be a mind. You know what I'm Written by like, the goddamn uh, MC Hammer. Yeah. Two like, legit Falcons. Bro, so I think I might have to go. I wasn't in that era, but just knowing that what I know, and I love Vic, man, shit. Yeah. And during Vic era's Vic and, and um, Allen Iverson. If you play basketball or football, yeah. Vic and Allen Iverson, them boys from VA held it down. But, yeah, they did. Definitely. But, um, Definitely. Just the fact that I know 
Dion wasn't even a, a QB and he had that much notoriety, mm -hmm. I got to go with Prime. And, and then keep in mind, and he's still booming. Do it. That, that, that's the biggest part. He's still booming. That's the biggest fucking part. And I'm not saying Vic not booming, but Dion still booming. Like who the fuck go to? I never heard of Boulder, Colorado before. Before me neither. You know what I'm saying? Like Coach Prime, he done bro. The first, the nigga name is Prime. The nigga name Prime. You know what I'm saying? Since 89. Come on, man. Come on, bro. So shit. How man. you going to act? Come on, yeah. So I got to go with Dion on that one. And, and see, cause I, I knew, I knew uh, Cam had to do the because Cam play quarterback. Yeah, but he, but him and Dion cool too, though. No, he, yeah, he talk about him all the time. But, you know, Cam played quarterback. He was here while Vic was here growing up in yeah. that era. You know what I'm saying? That was, his, so, that was his, uh. So he could coach. relate to that yeah, more. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah, sure. That was, he said that was his, his, uh, his idol. Yep, yep for sure, yeah. for sure. Vic was amazing. No, for sure. The, um, the way the way of uh, the game chose him to be uh, the to, uh, the showcase his athleticism. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was it was unmatched. Bruh. And uh, you know, you, you, was you was you in um, Atlanta around that time? I, no, I hold on, you, you like thirty four, right? No, I'm uh, damn goddamn. I looked that old. I'm thirty. I'm thirty. Man, I'm sorry. Bro. Yeah, it's all I'm good. Sorry. Shit. I, I, I didn't even take my hat off. No, 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 no. I might no. look like 44 no, when I'm I sorry. take my goddamn man, hat off. Shit. Edit that part out. <laughs> no, 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 you good. You okay, good. cool. Yeah. Keep that in. I thought you because y'all was the same age. No, 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 no. We had that part, boy. Got you, got you. Yeah, yeah. You look younger than a motherfucker, man. No, now I look younger. You look, no, you now look younger look, than a motherfucker. Now I look younger. You, nigga, bro, you model if you wanted to. Yeah, well, appreciate you. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. use that same line, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nigga. Word, word, word. Yeah. So, did you you ever had hoop dreams or, you know, sports dreams coming up and everything? You think you were gonna be one of the that's right. what you wanted to do? Everybody with your life? thought they yeah, I was I was hooping mm -hmm. uh shit since five till mm -hmm. like my sophomore year in high school. But yeah. bro, I mean shit, it is what it is. Dog. I had to stop. I had a irregular heartbeat, but I stopped. But Word. when you start thinking about it and you start seeing cash, you like, yeah, that nigga tall. Mm. Hold yeah. on, that nigga it's can scary. jump, jump. It, yeah, yeah. I'm over here trying to slap our back for it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> when you start seeing that. Like, Stop. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. That nigga come down to dunk, and you like. I don't belong here. Yeah, nigga. This is this is not it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is not for me. Yeah. NBA live me, nigga. Yeah. 2K yeah. me right now, yeah. nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, you just got to know you're down in distance. That's yeah. what I tell you, nigga. Yeah. Just know, like, look, this ain't for me, you know? And so, shit, it worked out, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, for real. And that shit used to uh, uh, disappoint me. Like, mm -hmm. whenever I seen niggas, it's, it's so uh, just phenomenal in certain sports and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And we're like, damn, I just realized something. I'm never going pro at nothing. Bruh! <laughs> when, when it hit me, like, oh, this ain't supposed to be my fucking life. Bruh, but you know what? What made me feel better? I yeah. said, you know what? I ain't go pro by balling, but I I, I made another thing yes, and I went did. pro. Yes, you know you what did. I'm saying? I went pro another way. So, sure you know, enough. God don't make no mistakes. No, he you don't. You know what I'm saying? No, and so, mm -hmm. that's. You know what I'm saying? I made it to the league. Yeah. Either way. Yes, you did. You know what I'm saying? The, the, so, you, you solidified yourself in history, my boy. There you go, bro. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I made it to the league. So that's that's it, bro. League dreams. One way or another, bro. But Hoop Dreams was a documentary I watched. I also used to watch Through the Fire by Sebastian Telfair. I don't know if you heard that one, but Sebastian Telfair, if you haven't heard it, I mean, watched it, bro, it was really dope. Like, he was coming out of high school, one of the best high school point guards in um New York. He uh, actually Stefan Marbury's little cousin. Oh wow. Um and so bro, Bassy, he, he got drafted out of uh Yeah, high he pl and played for um <laughs> He played for uh the Trailblazers at first. Yeah, yeah. And then uh he bounced around, but he was cold though. He okay. was cold. Yeah. So that was a documentary I used to watch. Mm -hmm. I watch it, go out, do the moves, you know what I'm saying? Summer league, they had the games and stuff. So but still though, if they ever looking for a celebrity basketball game, tournament, whatever. Oh, it's on now. I'm down now. Yeah. I I, yeah. I gotta, I don't know if you seen it, I gotta wear my knee brace. Yep. I, brace yourself, nigga. I just got you know one. What I'm saying? I just got one. It ain't, bro. Come to the Peg Club, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Peg United, baby. Yeah. Peg yeah. United. Hey, you need to go on. Hey, this might be a good time for you to start selling your knee braces. Yeah, okay. You know yep. what I'm saying? Peg braces. The peg braces. The okay? peg legs. Yeah, the peg legs and put them in place, baby. Mm -hmm. There you go. The peg teach, legs. I teach a nigga ahead. how to walk right again. Okay. You see what I did for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I just did? That's, Appreciate you, bro. Come on, bro. Appreciate come you. Come on. Hey, up. You saw it's about adding on. Okay. It's about you taught me that. Thank you. It's you, the assist, brother. Mm -hmm. Alley oop, brother. You know what I'm saying? 100%, 100%. And with the brace, I'ma dunk it. 
in the name of Jesus. Yeah, see, in the name of Jesus. What, was, it, what, that, was that doing, what, what this, this is doing right now, you be inside Celebrity Game, uh -huh. you, it's almost like you in NBA Jam and you, 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 you the special nigga a nigga could pick. Yeah. Nigga pick, yeah. pick. That's You see what I did again? God, bro. Come on now. Remember, you could pick Al, go back in the day and all, and yeah. phone. Oh, damn, that's before your time. <laughs> But still, I'm trying you to remember pick that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, somebody oh, got you. Ella, Ella up me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I, 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 I didn't. Ella, Ella down me just now. <laughs> yeah. Damn, you, you making my 42 sound old as nah, fuck. Nah, it's all good, dog. <laughs> it's all good. Word, I've word. been here before, like they say. I could dig. You I know what I'm saying? You, you, that's why you, you're so mature. You're so intelligent, man. Um, I don't usually watch a lot of young nigga shit. Yeah. You know? But y'all don't sound like young niggas. Bro, I, I think that, I don't that's feel crazy. bad watching y'all like, like these, yeah. I, I learned from y'all show. But no, real shit. I think Cam, he grew up in a household with his mom, dad, and his grandma. I grew up in a household with my mom, mm -hmm. dad, and my grandfather. Oh, wow. And so shit, like being raised with, you got your parents, but then you got they OGs. Mm -hmm. Like all my work ethic and the knowledge about life came from my granddad. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And so, you know, he was super smart, hard nosed, but you know, like, that Saturday morning, you gonna get your ass up and hit this yard. You know what I'm saying? Like, granted, that's what got me into basketball. And well, I'm gonna go to basketball practice. I'm gonna get a job, but man, if you hear that knock on that door, mm. boom, 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 and he'll be like, "Gents, mm. hit your feet. It's time to get out." Yes, I'm sir. Like, God, yes, sir. Damn. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Damn. You're, none of that playing like you sleep. You like, hold on, yeah, hold on, yeah, hold yeah. on, nigga, walk away. I know you ain't sleep. Get up! I heard you in there talking before I got enough. <laughs> God damn, yeah. nigga can hear too. God damn. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. shit. It is, it's what it, is, it is what it is. Yeah, so. they, them, them ass whoopers by association. Woo! <coughs> yeah, now them. Yeah. Shit, well, boy. Yeah. If boy, one nigga get an ass whooping, everybody. Everybody. Bro. What, was your grandma one of them good ass whoopers? My grandma had, well, yeah. I, grandma, she ain't want to whoop ass as much. Uh -huh. She always carried a switch, but I remember my cousin, man, Shaderica. Shaderica. You know Derica. that's a black name. Shaderica. Now, name her mama and her daddy name. What's the names of her mama and her daddy? Okay, Shannon and uh, Derek. Okay, Sharon and Derek, yeah. Okay. And then they added a uh at the end. Oh, uh, so, God. Shaderica, you. you know what I'm God saying? So, you. She was over there messing around, and Grandma messed she, she got caught, like, kissing a nigga? No, hold on, this is before. Oh, okay. We was, first of all, my grandma. Y'all was hunching. Y'all was. <laughs> Hell no, nigga. Okay, cool. Let me tell the story. God, all right, I'm sorry. You nigga over here trying to skip I was excited. It. Like, so, what's up with Shaderica? Nah. <laughs> so that's my what? cousin. That's my first cousin. Okay. My cousin Shaderica, and my brother named Celine. Okay. And so we down there. My grandma passed on a movie that she would just put on. It's Forrest Gump. Like, you like five, six, you like six, seven, watching Forrest Gump. Yeah. Mind you, I, I can't Forrest imagine. Gump ain't really a kid's movie. No, it's not. You get you know what I'm saying? You when see Jenny him, was butt naked God, on that stage. Jenny, you see him, hookers. Lieutenant Dan, mm -hmm. drugs, mm -hmm. like it's like damn. Forrest, mama getting fucked. Yeah, yeah. all of this shit. Mm -hmm. It's yep. like nigga, my grandma, watch that Forrest Gump. Every time, watch Forrest Gump. I'm like, mm -hmm. God damn, mm -hmm. run Forrest. So anyway, <laughs> we what we done got tired of watching Forrest Gump because that shit a long ass movie. Yeah, she there playing around and she ended up banging and hitting into Grandma China cabinet. The shit break, Grandma. What, what was she doing? Bruh, she always, she was like, y'all remember Rugrats? Yes, I do. She was Angelica. Angelica. Okay, got you it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like Tommy. My brother was like, uh, what's the little You scared? was Tommy. I was Tommy. Okay. My brother was Chucky. Uh, Chucky scared yeah. of everything. Yeah. I don't think who, we should who, do this. Who was feeling Lil? Well, we ain't had them. They ain't come in yet. They okay. Ain't come in. So it's just the three, the trio. Gotcha, gotcha. So it was like my little cousin DJ came later. Name. So he, uh, she playing around, hitting niggas and. You know what I'm saying? Running around. She hit the cabinet. Show up. Break the glass in the cabinet. Okay. My grandma come downstairs in the one the nightgown. And you know what I'm saying? And mind you, it's early, it's still early in the morning. Mm. She got the gown on. No panties. Oh, bro. No panties, no bra. Yeah. Shit yeah. sitting to your kneecaps. Goddamn. Mm. Grandma, help me, nigga. Yeah. So anyway, so shit. So she's like, get y'all ass out there and go find a switch. So you know the Switch Adventures. I don't know if y'all ever picked a Switch. Yes. But I'm, you got to pick the perfect oh. spit, okay? Uh -huh. Small, but you got to make sure the thorns is off. There. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> you got to take it and slide it through your hand to make sure it's smooth. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta compare it with the other mm. Switches the other niggas done got. You know what I'm saying? And you got to test taste it on your leg. Let yeah. me see if that works. You know what I'm saying? Mm. None of them going to feel good, mm. but you try to pick the best one. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The one that'll break. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. one, and, but if it's too thin. It's too thin. And she going to come out there and get the one. 
one that she thinks. And, you know? and she might braid them bitches oh, together. Yeah, I had that girl over there braided. God. Braided God. switches, yeah. You all right, Jack? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, nah, like I said, I, I still suffer from a seizure. <laughs> okay, okay, shit. Mm. So, yeah, man, Grandma got down, took it to town on her ass, though. But she got back in there, mm. and Shaderica was the runner. Mm. So every time a whipping came, she tried to goddamn dodge and mm. shit. Mm. Everybody doesn't know the game. Mm. Shaderica, you better not run. If you run... Your ass gonna get it the worst. Mm-hmm. So me and my brother, she is always the first one up. Mm. So shit, we pushed that ass up first, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, shit, you be noble, nigga. Follow the sword, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Shit. Ladies you, first and you, the other time. You bringing the ass yeah. over to you know him. Like, saying? here, go, yeah. grandma, go. My grandma, tell me, man, it's ladies first. Yeah. Get your ass out there, nigga, and go get that ass whipping. Yeah. So shit, she over there dancing around. Yeah. Grandma done got down, got tired yeah. off of her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She whooped Salim and then she mm. finished up with me. By the time I got, I still got some. Yeah. But shit. It yeah. was light work. It was a little lighter. You it know was an exhausted ass whooping. There you go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And mm. so, man, I just thank you to all the jean companies mm. back then. Yes, sir. The South Pole, even the, the shit, goddamn Levi's, Wranglers. Wranglers. The Wranglers are you know good, what I'm saying? good and good. <clears throat> Bugle Boy, mm-hmm. I remember they had. had oh, those Bugle Boy jeans you, you know wearing. what I'm saying? So. That's if they didn't make you go raw ass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if they if they let you keep your jeans on with a belt or something, you, you oh, thank you because you help. I, I never had the the jean ass whooping. I I, I always was supposed to get raw naked. ass. Yeah, ball ass. Yeah, god damn, that's I, my mama. I got hit in my butt hole. <laughs> Ooh, god damn. Yeah. yeah. Pause for the cause, but yeah. it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he broke it down and my butt hole. Okay. God damn. Okay. Hey, edit it put out. God damn. <laughs> But yeah, but man, shit, my mama was that type of ass whooper. Pull your pants down. And so my mama was so bad that if we cut up in school, then she'll come and in the classroom, you wanna show out, I'm gonna show out. Mm-hmm. So they was like, Miss Collins, you can't be whooping the kids in the school. Mm-hmm. So she wanna be creative and shit. You know, niggas is creative. Mm-hmm. She drives around to the dumpster in the back of the school. Get, get your ass in that back seat. Pull your pants down. So behind the dumpster, you getting your ass whooped mm. behind the dumpster mm. and going back in the class. Shit, my mm. daddy done signed me out of school, took me home, whooped my ass and signed me back in before. Mm. So shit, I, we, we, we got some ass whoopings growing up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They did not spare the rod. They did not. Oh, oh that's where you came in at a good time uh-huh. and whatnot, because back back in the uh, the 80s, when I was getting my ass, the, my, um, my dad would come up to the school and slap the fuck out of me <laughs> in front of my class. And anybody that didn't like me after uh, 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 oh, yeah. before that, they was cool. They were cool after that. They're like, oh, okay, yo, leave, leave him alone. Yeah. He getting enough bullying at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they became my friend after that. They, they felt sorry for me. <laughs> like that nigga is getting to get <laughs> by Joe Jackson. But everybody knew when it was that yeah. person parent that came in, cause everybody like, ooh, that, that, and that one person was just looking down like, yeah. shit, yeah. goddamn, that's my goddamn daddy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. It was a good ass whooper. Yes, bro. Precision, mm. bro. And he would just, <laughs> the nigga would just, but he would fuck with you. Mm. He'd come in the room. Mind games? Mind games. See, he'd come in the room. Mm. And then he'd go to a drawer. Okay. The nigga ain't had that many belts in the drawer, but he'll fumble around. And then he had his one belt and be like, pop, pop. And then he'd look at you and be like, so why you do it? Nigga, I'm only four or five. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, like, and you know it, you always gonna get the same answer. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And then his, his answer always would be, well, I'm about to give you a reason. Mm. Stretch out. And so his rule was, whatever is in the way of your ass is getting hit. So don't put your hands back there. And don't, don't, don't be trying to move. Just, just, just take it like a man, you know what I'm saying? And that's when I first, that was my first introduction to the rodeo. That's what it, it, it remind me of. Mm. You start out on the bed, yeah. that first hit, you up. Nigga, you jumping, goddamn. Yeah. You, <laughs> Yeah. But that nigga is not stopping, you know what I'm saying? So shit, he was a pr- pristine ass whooper. Oh yeah, hey bro, pristine. You saying some real shit, by you know what whatever you, whatever you. And like you're in the way. way. It's gonna get. But that's that's a casual. The hand is the wrong thing to put. In front of my hand like was hanging off like this after <laughs> ass whooping one time, and and it hurt badly. My shit bro. like a Mickey Mouse glove <laughs> when it was over. Bro, you gotta swallow that motherfucker. Bro, and them be the, but them be the worst, but the best yeah. sleeps, cause you yeah. trying to find yeah. a way to sleep, but yeah. you. <laughs> people. Yep. When you still, you can't catch your breath. You're like, nigga, I ain't yeah. have asthma before I caught yeah. an ass whooping. Yep. But I got asthma now, nigga. Yep. What my yep. inhaler? Yep. So shit, but yeah, man, it's 
Yeah, I do some days, man. Yeah. You say, I got trauma now. Yeah. You know, now you've been making me understand. This is therapy. This is what it was about. You know what I'm saying? This is what it was about, this, bro. This is what it was about, bro. Hey, bro, it be throwing me off sometimes when I be watching y'all interviews. And then, you, like, dog, you, 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 you have a sparkling personality when you go in there and shit. But then you'll take it down and you get serious. And then you'll go back up and shit <laughs> and whatnot. And I'm like, is that the same nigga? <laughs> <laughs> you, you're a real fun dude, man. Man, appreciate it, really, bro. Really, really fun guy, man. Man, you gotta have elements, bro. Hey, bro. If you, uh, I asked this uh, question earlier today. Uh, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Damn, that's real. Um, take your time. Which one would you want to do? What would you want to do? Man, this shit about to sound crazy, but I would want to see uh, people's heart. So I know what their motives are, their true motives are when they approach me. Oh, wow. This sounds deep right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, like, if I could really have, like, discernment, and I pray for discernment, but, like, just really know, like, when I meet you, just off the rip, what type of person you are, mm. you know what I'm saying, and, and your prerogative and, like, your purpose, <clears throat> that's one thing I would want to have. Like, I know a lot of people, like, man, I want to read your mind, or <clears throat> I want to be able to see through walls and shit like that, but, like... If you know what's approaching you and you know how they come in mm. and you know their, their true heart, bro, that's just like seeing people's minds. That's like reading somebody's mind. That's like seeing through walls. Like That's really avoiding yourself from so many situations that you're in. So if I could really speak to people's hearts like and really know the type of person just off the rip, mm. like, oh, that's a, that's a good person. Mm. Nah, they fucked up. Like, nah, stay away from them. Oh, they need help. They need, that person needs you to speak life into them or that person just needs you to say hey to them. They going through some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I would, I would want to, I would want that though. I love it. I love it. You know it. what I'm love saying? It. So. And is, is there any particular reason, or like, is something that happened inside your life that make you go, or, or, or repetitively, and that made you get to that space? Man, you never know what people are dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And then also too, now, more than ever, not, and you know, I just pray for that. Like you just never know people's intentions. You know, mm -hmm. but like also too, people's mentality and, and what they're really going through. Um, <clears throat> suicide is real, mm. um, and some deep stuff that happened to me. Like even my dad, he was an activist. He was the president of NAACP of Charlotte. Uh, Get out of here! Yeah, president of Black Political Caucus yeah. of Charlotte. Um, he he opened yeah, stressful. He opened up for like Farrakhan at one time. Wow. Um, when he came to Charlotte one time, um, I remember like we would be doing marches when I was younger and all he that. Must. So. I am not, you know, but we did pick up some of the practices, um, so the disciplines, yeah, so, um, but <clears throat> at one time, like, you know, he was dealing with his mom's death and dealing with so much stuff of, like, that, and, like, and now I'm older and I'm knowing, like, you know, he got death threats, so people were circling our house to protect our home and stuff like that, but, like, at one time, like, you know, he tried to attempt to commit suicide, and so... Being a young kid, I'm going in sixth grade. Me and my brother and my mom, we stopped him and caught him. But that makes you grow up, yeah. you know, instantly. You know what I'm saying? And, but that also makes you think, like, person that you look at as Superman, like, nobody's Superman. That's you know what I'm saying? And I see it now in my daily life of, like, bro, my dad would always just say, like, because he always had to lay the law. And he was like, you know, he was like, bro, you always look at me like I'm the villain. But I just learned to love it. Like, soon, you, when you get old enough, you'll understand it. And that's the same thing even in my household now. It's like, you know, I'm the fun police or I'm the person that's just like, even in my life, like, I'm the one that's like, bro, that this this can happen and this can't happen. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's not always a decision that you make. It's not always popular opinion, but it has to be made. But during that time in his life, he was very stressed and depressed. Um, and we stopped him from committing suicide. Um, and it was a blessing for him. Um, and a blessing for us as well. And so from that moment, that's really what made me kick in and start just speaking to people. Mm. Like, I see, I, that's one of my pet peeves. Like, when you're walking past somebody and it's like, I ain't speak, I ain't gonna say nothing. You don't know what that person going through. And some people in the world feel so unseen mm. and they're like, nobody sees me. They walk around with their head down. They walk around not even making eye contact because they don't even feel like people see them. You know what I'm saying? And they're doing so much stuff to be seen and just a simple, hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Might just change their perspective on being seen in life. And so that's that's really a, a big thing. Word, word. That's what's up. Uh, if your life was a movie, what would it be called? And who would you get to play you? Damn. Um, my life was a movie. It would be called Evolving. 
Um, and who would play me? Shit. I don't know. There you go. There you go. Michael B. Jordan. There you go. Fuck I like it. You gonna throw Michael B. in there? I like it. You know what I'm saying? But yes, yeah. But I, I guess Michael B. Jordan or somebody like. I just really feel like somebody would play me that hasn't been seen yet. Oh wow. That's what I really oh, feel you, because oh, you're trying to get get a nigga created off your you life. You know what I'm saying? Like I see what you did. Those some of the best ones. Like yeah, yeah. even when you see like the like the no knock on those people that played it, but like the person that played Biggie at the time when he came out with his. Yeah, like, he was here. He you know was saying right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or like, yeah, or like yeah. um, well, Pac person was already there, but like you know, like he did an amazing job. Like so many people, like when it's a fresh face that people really don't know. Like mm-hmm. obviously, you got like. Will Smith did Ali, and that shit is amazing. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got those, but I would like somebody that's really experienced or somebody that nobody's like, they don't know, and it's like, damn, this is a fresh face, but they look just like them, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, if and when I have a kid, you know what I'm saying? One day it's like, when that time comes for me to be a father, it's like, I want my kid to play me or somebody that's just a fresh face in the world that could really hone in and have the time to really, like, sit with me, learn with me, like, you know what I'm saying? See how my life is evolving and continue to evolve. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yo, man, um, yo, Amari, you you an amazing guy, man. Man, appreciate you, bro. Likewise. I, I really appreciate you coming here and blessing us like this, man. Man, thank you, dog. Man, I can't even thank you enough. Man, thank you for the invite. And man, I was shoot. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm I'm um I'm I'm just really uh, honored that you came. Man, for sure. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I know you got some more famous shit to do. I'm not gonna hold you up. <laughs> Uh, is there anything you want to say to the New Jack Thriller City community before we get out of here? Yeah, man. Uh, New Jack Thriller. Ooh, did I say it right? City, yeah. yeah, New Jack Thriller City community. I'm sorry on that part. No, no, uh, no. no good. But yeah, make sure y'all tune in to YouTube. Uh, watch uh, Funky Friday. Um, that's with Cam Newton, and he's hosting everything. And then also, you got to watch Fourth and One. Um, every week is dropping. We're going to kick up more episodes coming in the future uh, multiple times a week. But make sure y'all tune in to that. And that's with Cam Newton and myself. I'm on the show. I'm Peggy. Um, and also, you know, follow me, DM me, hit me up, give me encouragement. I'll give it back and, you know, connect with me on Instagram. And that's OG Collins. So, yeah, man, just tap in. And then also follow Iconic Saga. That's the production company. That's right. Got to follow Iconic Saga. That's the home team. Um, and just, I mean, like, just support, like, everything, all the whole movement. We got a whole movement coming. It's a lot of stuff that's going to be rolling out. We got an amazing team at Iconic Saga. Cam is doing amazing things. Um, you know, I hope to even build my own career and, and do amazing things. And so, oh, you and it's star, just, we, we, it's just the beginning, bro. Yeah. I received that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I received that. So, that's it, man. And then, like, oh, I got to give a shout out to my guy, Berto. Please. So, Mashika Hats. Um, also, like Berto, he's the hatter. This is Cam's company, but Berto, he makes these. He made this one. So anytime you see a hat, like the hat that won't fall off when Cam over there scrapping, it's the Mashika hats. What? Well, well, how you keep that hat down, bro? Bro, it's fit to your you fit to your head, bro. It's a Hold custom. On, so I could get a, a bro. Personal you you get a personal. Head. I created this hat with the help, obviously Berto, but inspired by like something, you know, my creation. Uh-huh. But like Berto. That's, you, you, that's your command of your mind, bro. Yeah, so like it's a full, that's why like Mashika is so dope uh-huh. because it's like a full fledged, like come in, if you have the opportunity to go out to Venice Beach or Montana, come in, Berto or another hatter will be there and they, they'll take you through like an A1 process of like, this didn't even, like, it was like felt, it looked like, like this pretty much, like, mm-hmm. Like a, you know, and then it turned out to be this. So you have a the skin or whatever the material is. They make it and form it. They measure your head. They form it to the hat that you want. Yeah. And then they start picking out different pieces you want to put on it. And then they'll give you inspiration of what does it mean to you. Well, tell me about your life. Like they'll talk to you about who you are as a person, and they'll create it as a hat. So, man, shout out to Mashika. They're doing amazing, and great. They're doing great things. And then also another hat I also wear is truly helpful. Um, so shout out to truly my brother Salim Collins, truly helpful podcast. He has merch, and I also wear a lot of his hats, and so I want to shout him out too. So, mm. gotta shout your people out that's doing stuff 100%. in the industry. Yeah, definitely. Hey, bro, your vibrations is on a million, bro. On appreciate a million. it. This is so high. It's been so positive. Hey, man, yo, Birdo, you killing it. I love what you, love your work, man. Yeah. What is it? Was it a strap on the back or is it elastic inside? Nah, it's just really, man. It's really like. 
it's nothing inside. They just fit it to your head. So it's all really. What's, what size your head is? Man. I'm, my I'm size, bro. My size, bro. My side, not playing. Get out. No, no. <laughs> oh, God damn. Man, I don't. That, Boy, I don't, nah, it's not. You ain't even on that vibe. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this energy is not. I like women. Pause, pause, pause. Yeah, I, I, yeah, so I, I, I don't do that. Yeah, yeah I, I don't do that. I'm yeah, grown, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to They, 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 they seen me with women. They seen me. Time. Yeah, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's Jack Thriller. You know what I'm saying? Thriller in Manila. You know what I'm saying? He gonna fill her. Do you know who I am? Come on, now. Straight up. <clears throat> word, word, word. Yeah. Yo, yo, uh, yo, Amari, man. Hey, listen, I need a favor, man. What's up? Hey, y'all be getting some fly ass folks on that show. Yeah. Let me get the crumbs off of that. <laughs> the people, the people off you that y'all don't want, <laughs> send them over my way. But yeah. I, but we can send the people we want and we don't want, man. So we can we can try to bless you. I can't make no promises. Hey, bro, I don't it's need It's on their schedules. I take what you give me. You know what I'm saying? I'm what they call appreciative. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you for giving me an outlet, bro, today. You know what I'm saying? Bro, the pleasure was all mine, sir. I appreciate it, dog. 100. This meant I a lot. I had a good time. Bro, I had a hell of a time, bro. It was, it was great, bro. It's a good vibe. You got an amazing team. Great production, bro. And so, bro, whenever you want me back, bro, peg it back. Omari back, bro. Hey, bro I, you know I, what I'm saying? Hey, hey, bro, I definitely love for you to come, you know what I'm saying, do some guest co-hosting every now and then. Bro, just hit me, bro. You got my line, dog. We got to make it work out. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I appreciate this, dog. For sure. <clears throat> uh, yo, Amari Collins, everybody. Hey, we'll see you next time. Hey, do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Let's get it. Let's take us out. And uh, let's take some pictures.